Kenya, an East African country bordering Uganda, Tanzania, Sudan, and Ethiopia. There are 47 tribes with each tribe boasting of different cultures. The Luya tribe has 18 sub-tribes. The Abawanga has the last reigning king, King Peter Mumia II. Our journey takes us to Mumia's town at the Nabongo Cultural Center, a place that holds the rich Bwanga culture. So to kwamba hawa waze wanajumuika hapa. Na unajua kitambo akukua na chai. Vile na bongo mumia alikuwa na rule from Jinja Uganda to Naivasha all those parts nimesema kulikuwa na governors na chiefs. So walikuwa na letter report zao hapa. Na wakileta hapo report sasa hii ndio ilikuwa chai yao. It is located in Mumia Matungu along the Buse Mumia's road. It has a museum, museum and the royal office of the Wanga king, King Peter Mumia II. Welcome to Tonquility Network. I'm Louise Wambani. We are at the Nabongo Cultural Center in Mumias where we'll be talking about the kingdom, the Wanga Kingdom. So stay tuned and welcome. The history of the Wanga Kingdom is well articulated by Betty Baraza, a tour guide at the Nabongo Cultural Center. This is what she said. So King Wanga Tukula Uganda. Mmoja alikuwa anaitwa Amoi na huyu Mwanga 3. So Amoi alibaki kule Ibanda Samia Uganda na Mwanga 3 alisettle pale Lela Kisumu na alipo settle pale akazaa hawa vijana wanane alikuwa Kabia Kala Murono mtende wanga wa Moi Wehoba Mgoya na Sakwa. Hawa vijana walipokuwa kubwa wakubwa ndio wakaanza kuseparate na kuunda clans. Na tukaona kama mtende alisettle pale Kuria akaform Kuria clan. Wanga kabaki hapa akawa the founder of Wanga Kingdom. Wa Moi pale Tatsoni akaforma ba Tatsoni, Wehoba Tiriki aliforma ba Luhoba, Mgoya kule Luo Ugenya akaforma ba Magoya na Sakwa kule Bondo akaform Jaka Sakwa na Jaka Sakwa ndio hiyo clan ya kina the current Raila. So tukaona Sakwa alipoaga aliwachia huyo kijana yake Matara, Matara akawachia Nyibinya, Nyibinyo Molo, Omola akachia Ogola, Migono akachia Wenwa Siba, Wenwa Siba aliwachia Wenwa Songa, then Rapondi, Rapondi naye akachia Raila. So huyu Raila ndio great great grandfather of the current Raila, ndio mwenye alizao Dinga. Odinga kaza Oginga, ndio Ginga kaza the current Raila. That's why mnasikianga Raila kijisifu, yeye ni mjukuu wa 13 wa kina Wanga. Yaani Sakwa na Wanga walikuwa nyumba moja. So tukija hapa kwa Wanga. Wanga Mwanga 3 alipoaga, yeye akachukua position. Na tukaona sasa Wanga ndio king wa kwanza hapa Wanga Kingdom. Na yeye alizaa hawa vijana wake watano alikuwa Murono mbata wa bala wa Muniafu na na Makwa. Hawa vijana pia walipokuwa wakaanza kuunda clans in Wanga Kingdom. Ndio tukaona kama Murono aliforma clan called Aba Murono wanawake wanajiita Oronda. Then Mbata aliforma Bambata wanawake ndio Luleti. Wa bala ndio hii kingdom Mabashi Tete wanawake wanajiita Wibo Makulusaba. Muniafu ndio Aba Muniafu wanawake ndio Ngakwa na na Makwa settled pale East Wanga akaforma bana Makwa wanawake ndio Wibo abana Makwa. So Wabala alipoaga akaachia huyu kijana yake Musui akawa king wa tatu, Chibwira alikuwa wa ine, Musinda alikuwa tano, Chitechi wa sita, Nechi wa saba, Osundu wa nane, Wamkoya wa tisa, akaachia Shundu wa kumi. Shundu ndiye alikuwa baba wa Nabongo Mumia na Shundu alipoaga ndiye akaachia Nabongo Mumia. Born in 1849 na akafa 1949 na alipoaga ndio huyu kijana yake Shitawa akachukua position Shitawa alizaliwa 1911 na akafa 1974 na yeye ndio baba wa the current king so alipoaga ndio the current king akachukua position king wa 13 na anaitwa Peter Mumia the second ako na 68 years na ngali ana exist The Nabongo Cultural Center, also known as Eshienda Hall, is the pride of the Wanga Kingdom. It is located in Mumias. The ancient Wanga citizens had various games they would play to pass time. Kama hii tunaita uluko kwa kilia ni draft, wazee walikuwa na chesi. Men were not allowed to play the game. 
the winner of the game will be rewarded heavily. It's a serious game. <laughs> yeah. There were also the inyungu, which was used by women to cook food. Pengine ugali kulikuwa na ile kubwa ilikuwa inaitwa ihafuka kwa kiluya. Na hizi ndio kuja after white people. Kwa hivyo hizi nyungu ndio walikuwa wanapikia. Pengine ugali kulikuwa na ile kubwa ilikuwa inaitwa ihafuka kwa kiluya. Na hizi ndio zilikuanga bakuli. Kwa kiluya tunaita shikae. Shikae, popularly known as a plate, was used by the ancient Wanga people. Kichwani hivi. Then wanachukua kanyongo so use the pot wanaenda nini? Water from the river. The woman would use a gara to balance the pot full of water on their heads as demonstrated by Betty. Oluteri was used to win of grains. Eshimwero was used to store grains. The women used to grind maize on a rock known as Oluchio. They would bend and rhythmically grind the step of Then after that, wanaweka maweli ama wimi. Then wanaanza kusiaga. Naona? Kusiaga, wanasiaga wakileta. Wanasiaga. Na hapa uchini pengini watalilalisha pale. Unajua kukwa na hata gunia. Walikuwa na lalisha skin za ngombe pale. So, wanapeleka paka ugali. Unga inatosha kupika. Nabongo Mumia collaborated with the British. They brought him a cloth. This cloth, as demonstrated here, was the first that Nabongo wore. King Peter Mumia wears the cloth sometimes. Here are the images of ancient Wanga people. The woman, the women would sit on the floor. They were not allowed to sit on the chairs. The men would sit on chairs. The king is buried in a sitting position. All the kings are buried in a sitting position. The siphon would be directed to the nose while he sat on a three-legged stool in his home. Also, there were more arrows that were made out of the iron ore, specifically jembes and the tool used to harvest sweet potatoes. 
nikikusikia kama ni waje so Busa was and is a very symbolic brew of the Wanga people. The men will siphon through siphons while they discuss serious matters. So, hapa ndani tumeingia hii nyumba ndio nimesema inaitwa Indenja. Hao sasa hapa Shembeho. So tutaona kwamba hawa wazee wanajumuika hapa. Na unajua kitambo hakukuwa na chai. Vile na bongo mumia alikuwa na rule from Jinja Uganda tunaivasha all those parts nimesema kulikuwa na governors na chiefs. So walikuwa naleta report zao hapa. Na wakileta hapo report sasa hii ndio ilikuwa chai yao. Pengine wamevamiwa kule na vita, pengine magonjwa, pengine njaa. So walikuwa na kunywa hii. Sasa hao wazee hapa iko tu kama parliament. E, kuna kuanzia chairman kuenda paka chini kabisa hata discipline treasurer wako. That's why ninasema unipe nafasi ni karibishe organizer wao ili aongeeko machache kwa hii nyumba na after that pia ukiwa na swali lolote utawauliza kuhusu hii nyumba na ninaomba organizer hapo umefika kwa nyumba ya wazee na bila kupoteza wakati hao wazee wanakutana hapa karibu kila siku na sio lazima kila mtu akuje kila siku kama uko na kazi unaenda unafanya shughuli yako ya kazi lakini siku ile uko na nafasi unakuja unajumuika na wazee. Na hao wazee huwa wanakutana kuanzia Monday to Monday. Weekdays hizi siku za kawaida huwa tunaanza hiki kao saa nane. Na uh, weekend na labda kama tuko na holiday huwa tunaanza hiki kao saa saba. Na in, in, lengo lengo la sisi kukutana hapa sana siku kunywa kunywa inakuwa tu part of it eh, si sio sio si, si, si intention tunakaa hapa tuki tukikunywa na pia tukiongea mambo yetu katika familia zenye tunatoka tuko na shida mbalimbali wewe unaweza kuona shida yako ule jirani yako ana shida yake ukituletea hiyo shida yako hapa tutaongea kuhusu hiyo shida yako na tutapata jibu hata kama wewe kwa nyumba unaishi na mama lakini you are brushing shoulders yani mpatani kwa nafasi fulani ukituletea hapa shida tutaongea wao wazee wataongea na watakuambia wata either mama wewe ndio uko na makosa ama mzee na wakati tume discuss hiyo shida yetu yako tumemaliza tunaweza chakua wazee wawili ama watatu wakuje kwako wapeana amani wapatanishe aa uh, hii nyumba ukiangalia vizuri imejengwa traditionally. Na ule kinga ambayo tuko nayo leo hii hata kikufa mwenye atateuliwa tena atajenga nyumba kama kama hii. Unaona? Ukiangalia vile iko it looks unique. Atajenga tena nyumba nyingine kama hii. Na hao wazee uh, jambo lingine nataka niongezee eh hapa ndani kuingia yaani wewe ku qualify kuingia kwa hii nyumba lazima uwe na miaka zaidi ya 25 na uwe una familia uwe una familia si ndio kando na kuwa na familia uwe na tabia mzuri eh, not everybody is allowed in this house not everybody kuna wale wachache wale ambao wamefanywa vetting vizuri wanakubalika kuingia kwa hii nyumba hii it is a wisdom house atukubali mchezo hapa hata kwa hii nyumba nataka kuongea wakati mmeingia si umepata kama nyumba imenyamaza eh hapo ukitaka kuongea una jambo kuna mtu hapa anaitwa chief whip yani it's, it's, ni kama pale mimi ndio maambiwa utabeba mkono wako utapewa idhini utaweka point yako on the floor of the house wata watajadiliana na kama kuna mtu anataka kupinga hiyo point tena atabeba mkono tena apewe idhini na chief whip apinge kama kuna yule akusupport hiyo point tena hivyo hivyo 
hiyo discussion ikiendelea sasa e, kwa fupi kwa hii nyumba kuna spokesman kuna chairman kuna treasurer kuna secretary kuna ofisi ya welfare kuna mpaka kuna hata disciplina e, kama kuna shida labda umemeza kidogo roll tunakuweka kwa mikono ya ya disciplina eh, sasa yeye ndio dadili na wewe atakuonya mara ya kwanza atakuonya mara ya pili mara ya tatu atakutoa nje ya nyumba alafu kitambo urudishwe kuna ile penalty kuna ile fine ambayo utalipa turudishwe kwa hii nyumba sisi bado tunafuata ule udamatuni ule ulikuwa mzee ule mwanzilishi na bongo mumia najua na bongo mumia alikuwa na wanawake wengi kwa na wanako wengi na kwa wanako wengi kulikuwa na mwanamke kiongozi ambaye alikuwa na anapeana mwelekeo kwa wanako wengine eh he was a leader among the among these women sasa yeye ndiye alikuwa anapanga ile protocol play what mfano alikuwa anaishi kwa hii nyumba peke yake lakini hao wanako walikuwa nje lakini walikuwa wanakuja kumtembelea kwa hii nyumba usiniulize wakija kumtembelea kufanya nini hiyo usiniulize <laughs> sasa kuna vile alikuwa anapanga program bila wana wake utakuja ku visit mfalme unapewa siku zako za kuja ku visit mfalme siku zako zikiisha unatoka tena mtu mwingine ataingia tena na mfalme alikuwa na mpishi wake hao wanaka huko wanapikia mfalme chakula alikuwa na mpishi wake hao wanaka angekuwa anapigia mfalme chakula angekufa mapema za chakula chake aliishi hiyo miaka inyadishi kwa hii nyumba eh ukiwa na mwanamke mmoja nitakana ukalia upande huu upande wa mlango eh kama hawa watu watu wanaka mmoja wanakalia huko na ukiwa na zaidi ya mama mmoja unakalia the other side upande ule mkia tu ni kwamba eh huyu mwenye yako na bibi mmoja bibi yake akikufa na apati hiyo message ama report bibi yake ameumia amekufa nini amepata accident atavunja hizi mirija mm. ana ata interfere na the order of the house unaona atavunja hizi mitungi zetu atavunja mirija atakuwa ametopatia hasara kubwa sana lakini sasa ule mwenye anakalia upande ule mwingine na ana zaidi ya mama mmoja si atataka kujua ni yupi amekufa isi hata kwa na ile haraka hata kama amekufa bado kuna mmoja wawili wa kuku sasa hana wasiwasi sana sasa ule wa ule wa bibi mmoja afadhali akalia hapa akipata report kama hiyo he jumps out of the house immediately eh nanipata alafu hii nyumba unaona unaona hii hii miti inaitwa king post ah uh, hii king post ina divide hii nyumba mara ngapi mara mbili na iko na mambo mengi eh wale mashemeji ambao walikuwa wameoa katika huu ukoo walikuwa wanaruhusiwa kukaa the other side alafu hiyo upande huu imekuwa kama bedroom nilipata vizuri ilikuwa ni kama bedroom sasa ungeenda kwa bedroom ya 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 inelo madam lo father lo uweze kubarika kwenda huko sio alafu hii nyumba pia unaona hii king post pia tena wakati mtoto alikuwa anataka kunyolewa wakati mtoto amezaliwa anataka kunyolewa mama alikuwa anakaa hapo ananyolewa mtoto ananyolewa ana, ana kama mama amekaa hapo unaona hii king post iko na maana mingi sana hata wakati mtoto alikuwa anataka kutairi wakati wanaimba wakirudi kwa boma kuja kutairi mtoto mama alikuwa anakaa hapo na mwiko anaenda kutania kijana yake pale kumweleza usilie usimama kama mwanaume na ukilia ujue mimi ndio nitakufa anamtisha hivyo Eh, mimi ndio nitakufa. Eh, anampatia maneno ya kumencourage, si ndio? Yasi king force iko na maneno mengi sana. Hizi mirija uh, tunazipata busia county. Kakamega county rarely azipatikani. Uh, Inapatikana busia county. Huwa zinapatikana, huwa zinapatikana kwa forest kwa vichaka vichaka. Sasa kuna ile specialist analeta angeleza ile zimekoma. Usiku zile bado changa zile changa maji moto tu inapaswa lakini ukiangalia zile zimekoma anaenda na zikata anatoa maganda ya juu na kuanga green unatoa hiyo maganda ya juu alafu unatoboa na waya hapo katikati kuna kanyama soft unatoboa na waya and then it's right for use hivyo tu 
Na kitambo wazee nao pia walikuwa na akili yao. Walikuwa na zikata. Wanaeka pale kwa mtoni ya maji penye watu walikuwa wanashota maji. Sasa maji itakuwa itapita ndani pole 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 ikiozesha kale kanyama kenye kako katikati. Alafu na tunaru, tunarududu tunaingia tunakula pia. Maji kianza kupita ndani. Naanza kutumia kwa sababu watu kuwa na waya. Wale wazee walikuwa na akili. Here is the Nabongo Cultural Center Museum. There is the grave of King Nabongo Momia, the founder of Nabongo Kingdom, who lived for a hundred years. Nileto hapa for the second burial. So tukiangalia hii ni Nabongo wa Mukoya, yeye alizaliwa 1697 na kafa 1795. In the mausoleum, there is the graves of other kings at the same place. Remember, the bones of the kings are always brought from their place of burial, then transported to a shimbaho and buried here. 20 years after they have been buried, the bones of the king will be exhumed and be brought to the Nabongo Cultural Center. That's why it is called a Shembe Ho. That was a day for a great ceremony and Wanga rituals. On that day, they will inaugurate the next king while the bones are laid in the tomb. The council of elders will now know the next king from the king's sons. It was not automatic that the first son would be the king. A cow would be brought forth and the sons would kill the cow. The arrow of the son that goes right through the heart of the bull would be the king. This tradition shows the true blood of the kingdom. There are trees that cannot be cut at the Nabongo center. Some serve as shrine since they were planted on top of the graves of the late kings of the Wang kingdom. There is also the grave of the first king of the kingdom, the father of Mwanga III. A few meters from the cultural center is the traditional palace for the Nabongo. So, tukiangalia hapa, just an example of a real homestead. Vile kitambo wa wanga walikuwa natengeneza maboma zao, thatching houses and then round hivyo. So tukaona kama hiyo ya katikati sasa ndio ile kuanga kama ya mwenye boma ama ya king. Mlango utaangalia uta face the gate. Alafu sasa bibi yake pia mkubwa. First wife pia mlango wake utaangalia kwa gate. But second wife kwenda chini milango zao zinaangalia ndani ya compound. Eh alafu tutaona grandmother anajengewa hapa karibu na gate because yeye ndiye alikuwa wa kukaribisha wageni. So atakuuliza unakujaje unataka nini akikubaliana na wewe utaingia na akikataa yeye ndiye alikuwa akasikisha na kufukuza unaenda na akikubali sasa ataita wajukuu avulana walikuwa wanatengenezewa karibu na gate because they were like securities so ataita mmoja wao sasa ndiye mtume pale kwa mama ndio mama ende pale apewe security ya huko ndio sasa ije pale uje huku ichutoe huku ikutupeleke kule kwa king so hiyo nyumba kwa sasa tunaita indenjo Indenja ho hiyo. The main Asa indenja ho ina mean mahali penye wazee wanakaa wakikunywa hiyo traditional bruna siphons. Kama weekend wanaanza saa saba na weekdays wanaanza saa nane. Wafanye kazi zao nyumbani kwanza ndiyo waje pale. Na si hatu wanakuja tukukunywa. They talk about politics, edu education, farming. Na pengine pia mtoto waneza lemewa school fees wanasaidiana. Na pengine hata uneza kuwa mgonjwa, ugonjwa wako wa ambatani na hospitali. Kuna wenye wamejua madawa za kienyeji pale. So ikifika saa kumna mbili kamili kila mtata ondoka na hapa pabaki for security purpose. Batu kuna wanawake 21 moja wako registered hapa. Ndiyo uwa wanatengeneza hii traditional brew. Na hakuna siku uneza kosa hiyo traditional brew hapa. Kila siku paka sande. Paka sande, paka hata muaka. Hakuna siku utakosa. Kwa hivyo... Ndiyo ni nimekuelezea kwamba na bongo mmea likuwa na anake wengi. Na kwa kila boma kulikuwa na beloved wife. Naona? So beloved wife, ndiyo likuwa na chunguza hawa wake wengine. Unajua kitambo watu, watu likuwa na, wanaenda kuoga mtoni. So huyo ndiyo likuwa naenda nao na anachunguza hawa wenye wametoka Poland. Sijuki ni kisema Poland unajua ni nini? Poland ni walu anatoka monthly period. So hawa ndiyo wangekubalika kuenda pale. Sasa mzea kimalizana nao 
na 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 naenda si ati kama siku hizi wanawake wanasema ati yeye ati hata bwana kama jalala kwake siku mbili anaanza kulia sijui kimoja pana wewe ulikuwa unaenda pale akiwa akiwa na sababu ya kwamba unaenda kupata mimba pale so atamalizana na wewe na anaruka naenda kwingine je hao wengine wakati atakuwa ameenda kwa boma ingine huko hao wengine sasa wakifikia hiyo wakati so unaona alikuwa ananyemelewa na machakazi na majirani wanazaana ndani but sasa hiyo spia walikuwa nafanya utamaduni wao kirusha hiki kwa laid ende kando watajua wao umezaliwa nje na ndio kwa sababu sasa mumia alitaka ku enlarge the kingdom sasa hawa watoto ndio walikuwa wanafunikiwa eh, that's why wasitete wako too many